It's Anna with Full Power Yoga. I'm going to tell you a little bit today about Madeira's Beach. If you're in San Juan del Sur and you want to go surfing, the main beach that everyone goes to is at Madeira's. Um, you can get the shuttle from Casa Oro, and it's $5 return. They leave early in the morning. Last one comes back at 5 o'clock, so you can go out just for the day if you want. Or if you want to stay there, there's sort of a few games in town. There's like a cheap hostel on the beach called Tres Hermanos. Um, you just show up uh, and book a room. Almost every time I've ever tried to call or email in advance any place in Madeiras, I don't hear back from them. Um, the Williamsburg of Hipster Beach uh, is at, up at Madeiras Village, and it's a beautiful place. For 25 bucks a night, you can get shared accommodation. They do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They've got a pool. There's always something going on there. All the cool kids hang out there. Uh, most people at home in Canada have heard about it. Um, yeah, there's a new place called Hulakai that just opened up. I believe it's a little bit cheaper. They also have a pool. They do shared dinner meals. There's an Echo Hostel that's actually, well, hotel, which is actually quite large, and they have a beautiful yoga shala. Um, if you want to do yoga at the beach, you can do it at Village Madeiras, which has a lovely big shala, or you can do it at Casa Madeiras, and it's eight to ten bucks a class, um, and pretty fitnessy yoga, modern. Um, what else is there? Uh, there's a little restaurant on the beach that does like fish tacos and beers. There's also a place called Cafe Revolution that's just back from the beach where you get let off on the shuttle. They do camping there for two bucks a night and they also have a couple of casitas. And the owner Abram is quite the babe. And if you're a beautiful girl, you might just get an education uh, while you're staying here. You never know. It happens a lot. Um, if you walk down the beach, you make a right, and you keep going around the rocks, you'll see another part of the beach that's pretty secluded. Uh, there's no surfers out there. It's really, really chill. There's one little hostel there called Matilda's, which also you got to kind of show up. Uh, it's hard to book in advance. And they have a cute little sort of tienda on the beach where they serve classic Nika food for really cheap prices. Um, there's a couple other places out there as well, but you got to just kind of poke around. Uh, I'd say go out for the day and then see if there's somewhere you want to stay and book something that way. It's a great day getaway from like the hustle and bustle or the crazy parties of San Juan del Sur. Um, there's a real sort of high school cafeteria vibe out there. There's always drama and, you know, like any other sort of hipster enclave. Um, but the girls are beautiful. The men are beautiful. The surf is always up. And, you know, the beers are cold. So if you're down here for a week, it's a great place to check out. Enjoy. Enjoy.